Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shelby. Today I am making a scarf. Even though it's the middle of summer, it's been nothing but cold and dark and rainy all week long. So I thought it's kind of scarf weather. Why not try to make one? I'm going to be using yarn, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently. It's not going to be knit. It's going to be that kind of like pom-pom scarf. And I want to try it out, see how it works, see how easy it is to do. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more. And we'll get right into it. So all you're going to need for this project is a big thing of yarn and a pair of scissors, really. The yarn itself that I chose, um, I think is for baby's blankets. It was really, really soft, but it's also really long. And all you have to do to create the pom-poms is take your thread and wind it around really anything. I chose my hand because I didn't want to make those little cardboard cutout things that are online. And you just keep winding and winding and winding and winding. And a million years later, you will end up with a fairly decent amount of yarn wound around your fingers. So that's what you're going for. Um, you can really make it as many loops or as few loops as you want. The more loops you have, obviously, the bigger and fluffier your pom-poms going to be. When it looks like a good amount, just take your scissors, cut it off, and then cut a string maybe about six to eight inches, depending um, on length, and then that's what you're gonna use to tie your pom-pom off with. So just kind of loop the yarn through where your fingers are and pull it out and then tie a knot. Um, and then what I did was I tied it once on the front side and then flipped it over and tied it really tight on the back side and then again so that it was a square knot on the back side and made this like bow thing. Once that's done, you're going to grab your scissors and kind of on either side of the bow where the yarn like loops over on itself that was around your fingers you're just going to want to go in there and cut it just right pull kind of tight against it so that all of your yarn threads are going to end up evenly and do that on both sides and then go back in and get any loops that you missed and that's your first pom-pom it's fluffy it's cute it's perfect and we need about a million gajillion more of these so get back to work with your yarn winding it around your hands and repeat the exact same process as before once you get enough loops, just kind of tie the center off. I did once in the front and twice in the back for all of them. It worked really well. Take your scissors, cut the loops on the ends, and then you have your second one right there. I'm not going to lie, when I did this, the majority of them, I really just like sat in front of the TV and turned on a show. That's probably like the best way to do it because you're going to go crazy if you just sit there and make pom-poms over and over and over again. So I'm going to show you the three of them and then I'll just show you kind of the progress updates of my yarn getting smaller on the big, um, it's not really called a spool, whatever the like bundle of yarn is. And then the little pom-pom pile is getting bigger. It's growing. It's starting to look kind of like a fluffy puppy, but that's sort of what I ended up with is just a mound of pom-pom snowball things made out of yarn and then I left some yarn at the end. I don't have a crochet hook so I actually just took a paintbrush and taped the yarn to it so that I could poke it through the center of each pom-pom so that's what I'm doing there. Basically my goal was to get through the loop so that I could thread the pom-poms onto the string of yarn just kind of like you would a garland for Christmas. So there's two of them on there you can see how that goes and literally um, just push it through. Most of them went through pretty easy. The only like tricky part is sometimes because the loop only goes one way So sometimes if you put it through you might like miss the loop and then they seem like they're on but they're not and they fall off sideways So you just have to watch for that But I've been doing it for a while. There's quite a few on there. That's them basically done It's really kind of loose. I really wanted them tightly packed together. So I just kind of pulled them nice and tight until they were on there. The very last one, I looped the yarn around the top of the pom-pom and tied three knots onto the yarn just so that it really wasn't going anywhere. So ignore the messy yarn on the floor because it kind of went everywhere. But this is actually super cool. Like it just finished. Kind of looks a bit like a feather boa. It's pretty thick too. It's like maybe three, four inches in diameter, which is awesome. I'm gonna try it on, try it out, see how it looks. So this is it. It turned out super cute. It actually kind of reminds me more of a feather boa than a scarf, which is why I think I love it so much because it's a, it's a boa. 
Um, but this is it kind of worn as a scarf. But this would be how I would wear it. Kind of very much as a feather boa, kind of pretending like just kidding, I would wear it like that, but then I'd leave the house and check it out and just be like, here's my scarf. But I do like it, it's it's actually like really comfortable. I can kind of move the pom-poms around so I might like tighten those up a little bit. So far, even though it shed a lot while making it, it's not really shedding on my clothes, which is nice. So I guess I'll have to like test it out and see, but I wore a dark color kind of on purpose and it's not really not really shedding on it which is great so super fun super easy craft um, I love the results it's good to do if you're just kind of like bored at home it does take a fair amount of time to do it all by hand but it's not actually difficult if you liked this uh, video please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing and I'll see you soon